All right, Brian Nizdanski is uh, tracking the weather for us. I know earlier today when you were outside, you had on the, the light sweater and a lot of people probably thinking that in the overnight early morning hours. Yeah, you needed it this morning. We had some lows this morning, Tom, in the 40s across the area. And now we're starting to warm through the 60s, 70s. If I was in the driveway like normal, I, I'd have the polo back on. All right, let's uh, again take a quick switch of gears here. I wanted to show you guys uh, the very latest of what is now Tropical Storm Isaias. And again, this is now working its way center of circulation to the west of New York. Uh, but again, losing some of its punch, but it's moving fast, folks. I don't think flooding is much of a concern with this. Winds are still quite strong. Some power outage uh, certainly likely with some gusts up to 90 miles per hour. But again, this thing is racing. This thing's going to eventually be by tomorrow morning into Canada. So again, long gone for us uh, after uh, this afternoon and uh, tonight. Back home in Waukesha, currently 64 degrees. What we are seeing is uh, more puffy cumulus clouds develop across the area. So sky is becoming partly cloudy. Uh, in Milwaukee, we currently still have beautiful conditions. Blue skies. Uh, actually, this is downtown Racine, 67 currently in Racine. Currently across southeastern Wisconsin, I think everybody's still in the 60s. 69, though, in Kenosha and Sheboygan. Soon we're going to start to see some lower 70s pop up. The dew points, man. Uh, for August to have dew points in the 40s, uh, that is very dry, very comfortable, maybe topping out in the lower 50s for today. Again, refreshing. Keep the windows open for today, tomorrow, probably even Thursday. By Friday, we start to see a noticeable amount of humidity back on the increase. So your weather headlines, taste of fall, warming up and warm and unsettled heading into the weekend. The store for max radar and satellite across the Midwest, we have quiet conditions courtesy of this big H on the map, which is high pressure and high pressure sinking air. Again, that gives us uh, sunshine and quiet weather. Overhead here in southeastern Wisconsin, a couple little light lake effect rain showers out over Lake Michigan. With the cooler air and the warmer water temperatures, we're getting enough of a, a difference between air and water temperature to create those uh, showers out over Lake Michigan. Same process as snow showers, uh, but... Thankfully, we're not cold enough for that. All right, heading into tonight, partly cloudy skies. You can ignore those little green specks on the, the map to the west of us. Uh, overnight and into tomorrow, we're going to start off with a lot of sunshine, lighter winds, maybe a few more clouds in the afternoon. Again, ignore those little green specks, those sprinkles on the future forecast. And then heading into tonight or tomorrow night, uh, looking at quiet conditions going to continue. Uh, Thursday, eventually, uh, we could see an increase in cloud cover, and uh, but dry weather is going to continue. All right, your forecast for today, partly cloudy skies, breezy and cool with a high temperature in Milwaukee around 70 degrees. For tonight, a low temperature of 58 degrees, mainly clear skies and cool. And here is your seven day forecast. 76 on Wednesday, 77 on Thursday, becoming partly cloudy on Thursday. And then this weekend, we start to heat back up. By this weekend, we're gonna have temperatures in the 80s, 85 on Saturday, 88 degrees on Sunday, and a chance of some thunderstorms. Slight chance on Saturday, a little better chances on Sunday and into Monday, but even those chances look to be scattered. Much of the weekend should be dry, but starting to heat back up, Tom.